Alright, so I just had to climb these stairs to get up here into the motor room. But basically, I got a service call today. Uh, high suction alarm. It's probably in the other motor room. I see it, man. So basically, I came up that scutter hole. And um, this is our motor room right here. You know, I came up that scutter hole, came out, now I'm up on the roof. All right, so, yeah, it's been a couple weeks. Kind of got exhausted. It's been hot. Uh, I just be playing with these YouTube videos. I don't really take it serious. I'm not a YouTuber, man. I'm just a technician, man. I'm just exploiting what I do. Just checking out my condensers. This is the rack that I'm here for right here. Rack 2. I don't have no fans running. So... Something's up. Open this baby up. Lights. So, here's rack two. That compressor is running. That head fan is not. As we can see, this one has a bad uh, open winding. As of September 9th, uh, that was maybe, what, a week ago, two weeks. Today is, uh, what is today? Uh, it is the 18th, so Friday, September 18th. That compressor's running. Uh, we got 10% on the liquid level. Where's the sight glass? A liquid level is going that way. Side glass right here. That looks pretty clear. Turn my light on. All right, so that side glass looks pretty clear. High suction. Well, we're running on two compressors. Uh, that kind of explains why we have a high suck. Uh, two cases in alarm. Ice freezer and ice cream. Ice cream is at three degrees. It comes out of alarm at two. Uh, let's just see if it ever goes down. Graphic. Look at that. So, ever since the 6, we've been running a high suction. Uh, look at that. So, you see the way that trend is it's starting to trend higher. Uh, that's probably around the time when that compressor probably went off. And uh, we haven't been out since. I haven't checked the call history or anything like that. But... That's around the time. That was the ninth. Uh, so somebody they didn't they didn't log it here. But um, as you can see, we definitely not coming down. Uh, either they got to get a compressor in here tonight, tomorrow, some particular time, even overnight. This case doesn't come down. Let's see what about suction pressure. Uh, let's grab it. Same thing here. So we're not maintaining suction pressure. That's why our case is not coming to temp. Uh, let me just log the ice freezer. Let's see how the ice freezer is doing. That's a much, much bigger circuit and it's at two degrees. I'm happy with that, but Let's see how we're doing overnight. So yeah, we're, we're pretty high. Let's log it. So it does come down to four degrees. 
Um, that's pretty good overnight. The ice cream case hasn't. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to go check the screen inside the ice cream case. Also, I'm going to check my EPR and make sure it's 100% open before I go downstairs. And uh, maybe, you know, we might be able to get that case to come down, you know, with this one compressor. But it definitely needs the compressor. Uh, I'm not sure why we're here two weeks later on this service call on a Friday. Uh, I don't want to work late tonight. But uh, we're going to see what we can do just to get this by. Maybe tomorrow the company can schedule something. But I'm not trying to really be out here at 8, 9 o'clock tonight. You know, I feel like this could have been down a couple weeks ago. But if we have to, it is what it is. But let's go down um, and check our EPR. Make sure it's 100% open. We know that two compressors are running. We know that we have plenty of refrigerant. I haven't checked the case yet to see if they have airflow. So let's just start with that. Circuit six here. Circuit six. Hook up. We we at zero on our gauges before hooking up. So right now we got what 21 on that circuit. Let's see what it's reading at the transducer. We're gonna hook up here, and they should be reading the thing. If that valve is 100% open. So what's that, 18.19, 21? Um, that's 100% open, even though it's off by two. 19 over 21, so that is open. We just gonna check our suction transducer, see what it, it is reading for rack two. It's reading 21 degrees. So our suction transducer is right. Um, we do have a capability to pull down. So what Freon is this? Uh, R404A. And if we convert that to a temperature, that's what, negative 14. Uh, so this circuit should be able to come down to at least, what is that, negative four? Yeah, 10, 10 degrees above coil saturation. Um, these units are designed with a 10 degree TD. So whatever you read, read here, when you convert your pressure over to a temperature, um, the lowest this circuit should be able to go down to is 10 degrees above that. So at nighttime, we did see it go down to negative four the freezer, but not the ice cream case. So, still gonna go down there and check my TXV screen. Uh, make sure we got airflow. Um, you know, maybe if it's just the screen, I probably can clean the screen and it probably can get us by, get us out of alarm. Um, if not, I'll be making a call to the manager. But let's jump into it. Before I head downstairs, since this is an ice cream case and um, I can see the ceiling noise back there, that let me know that this rack here has hot gas defrost. So if I'm gonna go down there and open that screen, uh, I wanna make sure that it's not gonna go on defrost while I'm checking the screen. Make sure that I close this ball valve before I go down there and uh, open up the TXV screen because this has hot gas defrost. If I open that screen up and it goes into defrost, uh, I'll be in the world of trouble. Uh, we have number, you know, hot gas refrigerant entering inside of the sales floor. So the best thing to do is just bow this off and you ain't got to worry about it. So, all right, so that's closed. Now I'm going to go down there and check the screen. All right, here's my case. So far, we got airflow. We got airflow in all the doors. Oh, let's check our screen. There's our TXV. Look like it's feeding. There's no frost pattern. But I'm gonna check the screen anyway. Let's close that hand valve. Now I'm 
now we can go ahead and uh, remove this screen. So all I did was close that hand valve, close that hot gas ball valve upstairs. And um, just so I can open this up, I don't want the liquid to come out. I wouldn't be able to stop the liquid with my hands. If I did, I'd get frosted. So the screen looks good, man. All right, so basically we're going to head back in here. We're going to open up that hot gas ball valve so we can defrost whenever we need it. Circuit 6 right here. All right, so one compressor's out. Been out for, what, two weeks? And, uh... Here we are today with the service call. And it's not the first time this case went an alarm. Then alarm yesterday, the day before. All these showing me the day that this case alarm. I'll put a call in and I'll let them know, see how they want to handle it. Let's just check out the fans. They're running now. Um, they weren't running when I first came up to the rack. Just wanted to double check, make sure they're running. But I just put a call in. I explained to them, you know, that we're running borderline between the alarm. The alarm is at two degrees. When I got here, we was just like two point something. Once you go below two degrees, it will go out of alarm. So, I mean, we're running borderline. Ice cream is not soft, but um, we do need to be at negative eight. I let them know, you know, see if they wanted to make this prioritize, see if we can fly get a crane out here today and maybe get that compressor so we'll do what we got to do if you know if it becomes a nuisance